Hey guys, uh, welcome or welcome back. If this is your first time on the channel, it's gonna be a very strange video to start off with. First off, it's really hot in Melbourne today. Um, if you can hear my aircon running, I apologize. I don't know how long this video will be going for. I have a lot to talk about. This is probably gonna be the most personal video I've ever done on the channel, I think, because I haven't been uh, on the channel or even like online at all in months. In months, it's been a really long time and there are many like different factors for this, many reasons. This video will go for a while. So grab a drink, snacks, don't know how long we'll be sitting here. What notes? I have so many notes in here. So much to talk about, like what I want to do, what's happening, the future of the channel. Oh my God, why? Why did I pick today to film of all days? Oh, as you can see, I have blonde hair now. I've gone back to blonde. Um, the pink has disappeared for now. Who knows, I may go back. If you've been following me on the channel for, I think it's like gonna be my 10 years this year, I think. You would know I don't really talk about like my personal life that much, talk about myself that much, like at all. I thought I'd just sort of talk about my current situation first and then sort of the future of the channel. We, we, I don't know if we'll be talking about serious topics or not. Um, I'll be getting your feedback on some ideas of some changes that I wanna make to the channel. So I just wanna get like your input on that as well. So I work full time. I work from Monday to Friday. So my only spare like time is Saturday, Sunday. When I was peak YouTube, posting like every single week consistently, it was when it was either lockdown or I was working casually or I was studying, which was like in my early and mid twenties. Like I turned 30 last year. So my whole lifestyle has changed. Over the last year, right, my interests have changed, my love for certain things, what I do in my spare time has changed. And because I just don't have spare time, like at all, I've started to hate editing which is really sad. <laughs> it's really sad uh, because editing has always been like my favorite part of YouTube. Like I love filming. I love that aspect of it. But editing was always like my creative outlet. I always looked forward to it. But right now, the content that I'm making and everything, I'm just, I'm so bored. The thing is, is that I don't hate editing, but it's that I hate the style of editing and the process of editing right now for the types of video videos that I make. So for movie commentaries, I don't think if you don't edit or a content creator, you don't really realize how long commentary movies like videos take to edit. So like these take me weeks and weeks just to do one 25 minute video. One of the main things that really just also deterred me last year from uploading was I went through weeks and weeks of trying to get my Final Destination 2 video up. When I edit, I have clips for a maximum of like six, seven seconds, and then I cut it because of copyright issues. And most of the time that gets f through, that's fine. When I did my Final Destination, I was spending weeks back and forth, back and forth, and every time it got picked up, I got to the point where I was editing down to two second clips and it was still getting picked up. And because I spent so long trying to get it to work, I started getting really frustrated and really angry and I just didn't want to do it because I was just over it and I was sick of it. That was like, I think one of the points halfway through last year where I was like, I'm over this. Like, I don't want to do this. And then anytime I opened Final Cut Pro, I was like, I hate this so much, <sighs> which is just, it sucks. 2023 was like a lot of shit. Like it was like an okay year, but there was a lot of crappy stuff that happened last year. And I really just, it wasn't, it wasn't the best. It wasn't, it wasn't really fun. Including Final Destination 2. I have five videos filmed that I haven't edited. They're just sitting there. I have, oh, maybe I can just tell you, I can tell you. I have Final Destination 2, Megan, Talk To Me, Your Name, and Akira. I have five, five videos that are just sitting there to be edited and I want to, but I just, I'm bored. Like I rewatch my videos. I have to rewatch them over and over constantly. And I think it's just the format, the format of the videos. I'm just not liking. I just don't, I just don't like it. A lot of, I think creative people like content creators and those people can like understand that you can go through phases where you're just like, 
I need to do something different. I need to switch it up. Like something needs to change because life is boring right now. If I want to make this a really happy, positive place again, I need to change it. Like something needs to happen. My interests changed a lot, which I'll also talk about. I'll talk about like how I changed in 2023 and how that will change my content. And hopefully you guys will like it what I want to sort of introduce to the channel and change up. So another thing I noticed like recently is my comment section has really changed over the last like couple of years. When I was smaller, the comment section was so much more positive and through like lockdown, like my channel grew a lot and 2023 negative comments hit me a lot harder. I have a lot more anxiety when posting. I like worry a lot more. In the past I was like, oh my God, I'm so excited to get this out there and see what people think. And I was just, I was so positive about it. But now when I think about posting, I get anxious. Some of my like ones that I did in 2023, I said like certain opinions and people were, like just jumped at me and then other people jumped onto that and it just made me really not enjoy the space that I was in. It wasn't making me happy. I haven't really talked much about like how I like get perceived online, like sort of how I present myself. I have to filter myself constantly. It's anything that's political or social. <laughs> I can't voice my opinions on anything that's happening in the world. So I'm more left leaning. So if there's anything where there's someone in the middle or right leaning, like it's just hate. So I never want to be judged. No one wants to be judged or disliked. Like, why would you want that? But then I feel like I can't be my like normal self. Like I can't even talk about what I want to talk about because I worry and then get anxious that people are gonna hate on me and then YouTube just becomes a really negative space. And then mentally that's really bad for me. And people say like, you can't put your self-worth and your self-esteem on like other people's opinions and stuff. And I'm like, how can you not? Like you're putting yourself online for people to judge. Yes, that is so normal. But I wanted my space to be like a positive space for everyone. And I see lots of other creators have really good like communities. So I wanna create a space that's a lot more positive and do things that makes me happy. Also, why am I even talking about this? Like, should I be even talking about this? I don't know. Like I haven't been this personal on a video in like ever. So the last like year and a half, two years, I've been dealing with really bad skin issues on my face. So I don't want to have like a shit ton of people online saying stuff about my appearance. Like I don't want that. I'm, it's negative enough in my brain mentally, but I like just hated sitting in front of the camera because I would have to put all my makeup on and I couldn't do it. Like it just doesn't sit on my face. It just was not good. And if you've gone through skin issues before, which plenty of people have and don't really talk about much, it's horrible. Like people look at your face when you're talking and I could follow people's eye movements on my face. Like I knew where they were looking and it just made me so self-conscious and my self-esteem was shit. And it just, I just didn't want people to see me. So that was also another reason why I just didn't want to put myself out there because I didn't want people to just look at my face. So that kind of sucked. <laughs> so let's move on to kind of where I'm at now and the future of the channel. And this is kind of where I want to get your input on if you think these changes are good changes, if you will still enjoy it. I don't know, I don't know. I was thinking about it, I'm like, why aren't I just doing videos on the things that I enjoy? With movie commentaries, I love doing them, but the format that I do them is really tedious and time consuming and like very repetitive. It's extremely repetitive and I just am over it. And people can say, oh, why don't you just get someone else to edit your videos? I have control issues. <laughs> I do not want people to touch my videos. I edit, I've always edited my videos. I couldn't hand that over to anyone. I want to still be able to edit my videos and in, I enjoy it, but the videos that I, over the last year, have enjoyed making the most and editing the most were my uh, Lord of the Rings, booked versus movie like comparison where I read the book. I did like a reading vlog. My Denis Villeneuve video, which I watched seven of his films in 24 hours on my couch 
like just throughout my house on my bed. Like I had footage obviously of the movies in it because it was still a reaction, but it was like a 40 minute long video and it was more like a vlog sort of format, but still a commentary and reaction at the same time. I want to have more of like just relaxed, chill sort of vibe in my editing as well as just generally how I'm filming. And my other favorite was 1899. Um, I did a binge like for, I don't even know how long it was, just straight of season one. I just watched all of the episodes on my couch. And that was like fun too, because I had footage in it. Like I had that in the video, but I didn't, um, it was just a lot more or less jump cut, jump cut, jump cut. I never want to um, remove my style when it comes to like audio snippets, video snippets, uh, like titles, effects. I love doing that. I love making them all creative and fun and I want to do that but I think like I just want to make it more just laid back. Also my interests over the last year have completely changed. So I used to love like just watching any movie like a lot of genres but in my spare time these are the things I do. This is all I do right. I watch Asian cinema, K-dramas, anime, read books and listen to k-pop that is all i do i have discovered the world of korean like pop culture the last year <laughs> like a like i i i'm in the middle of watching like at least 10 k-dramas right now and i just listen to the same playlists of k-pop every single day like that's all i listen to so i was thinking like if i want to make this fun again i need to change the format i need to change the topics of my videos. However, I still want to keep it on brand with what I have been doing in the past. Movie reaction to commentaries is only like the last four years, 2019, so pre-COVID. But I did trailer reactions before that. They would constantly get blocked. So I'm like, I want to be able to post longer format, less heavily edited, meaning there would be more footage in it. But can I really do that with copyright? That's the one issue. I also kind of, I don't know if people will be interested in this, but I love watching people enjoy the things that I watch and listen to. And I kind of want to like record my K-pop journey and K-drama journey. And so I want to like see new artists and listen and watch music videos and get to know their personalities and, and like the industry more and just watch a whole heap of K-dramas and Asian cinema, like movies. I have so many animes that I want to watch as well. And I want to get into that. It's just a matter of, will you guys like it too? Because I want you guys to enjoy the content that I make, obviously. I kind of want to return to my roots a little bit more where I still have like really creative, like effects, snappy cuts, zooms in, out, like all of that kind of stuff. Still have that, but I'm just interested in different things that still fall under the umbrella of pop culture and film and TV. But bringing music into it, I so worry that all of them, if I do anything that's music related, will get copyrighted or blocked. When I do movies and TV, I can edit them. So I can most of the time detour around getting it flagged. But with music, you leave it all going all at once, the visual and the audio. So you can't really get away with it as much, I can assume. I've, I haven't done music reactions before, only trailer reactions. And trailer reactions are kind of similar because you leave the whole trailer playing from start to finish. And if I was to do music reactions, I would be leaving like it from start to finish and watching it fully, fully and not stopping or pausing. Will that be an issue? And if that is an issue, do I have to like, go to Patreon to do that. So I feel like I need to like test the waters of what people are into and if they're even into me watching, I don't know, animes and like K-dramas cause that's pretty much all I watch most of the time. And like even K-pop reactions to new artists and groups and stuff. Are people into that? I think it's like, that's like my final, like coming out of this is like having more relaxed vibe but still keeping my like high editing effects side. So like a combination kind of, I want to sit on my couch more. I 
can sit two hours straight on my single chair in my corner with my background, that's fine. But if I'm gonna be like binging stuff or whatever, like I wanna sit on my couch if I'm gonna be watching something for a long period of time. Like the other night I spent six hours straight watching a K-drama, just on my couch. And I kind of wanna just do that. Like just have my wine and some snacks and just watch K-dramas. I think it all comes down to your feedback as well. Will you be interested in that? Because I still have like five other videos to be edited. Like I have your name and Akira sitting there to Japanese. They're both Japanese. Yes. If you have watched them or if you know anything about my letterbox, I just cry. I could, all of them, it's just me crying. I literally cry probably 90% of, of the K-dramas I watch or like the movies I watch, I cry. If you've seen my Squid Game, if you've seen my Train to Busan commentary, those commentaries, I just cry. And all of my reviews about K-dramas is me just crying and getting really angry and upset. I think also like if I change my editing sort of process up, I may fall back in love with how I do my editing for movie commentaries. And so then I can still do those on the channel. Every few ones is like a movie commentary because then I won't, it's not the same every time for every single video. Like my editing style is different. So let me know your thoughts on that change. If you guys are into Asian cinema, TV shows, and music, please inform me um, because that's just what I'm into right now. And all I want to talk about and talk to people about because no one in my real life likes these things. So I have no one to talk to about these things. It's really frustrating. So like, that's why I need to go online to talk to people online about it. The thing is when I talk about liking K-pop and Korean dramas, everyone that I talk to, there's such a negative connotation I just feel, that's what I feel. That's what I feel, a vibe I get. There's a lot of judgment around liking, liking it. K-pop, there are so many fucking bangers. The music is insane and they're dancing and performances. It's the shit. If you have not watched like any K-pop before, get on it because it's insane. That's all I want to talk about. So please tell me if you're into it too and would like me to do those kinds of movies and TV shows and introduce music reactions. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. That's the end of the video. Um, I don't really know how to conclude it now. Okay, cool. I'll see you soon, hopefully. Fingers crossed. I'm gonna go and edit my Your Name video. I'm gonna go edit that now. And then my, maybe my Akira one after that. I really wanna get my anime ones up. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys later.